So I'm, I'm Lakshmi Sundaram. I um, came to Colombia in 2000 and I did a dual degree, Master's in International Affairs, where I concentrated in EPD and also a Master's in Public Health, where I was really focusing on health policy. Uh, right now I'm uh, working at a small group called the Foundation for Innovative New Diagnostics, FIND, and it's a little um, interesting little public-private partnership. It's uh, mainly financed by the Gates Foundation and various other government donors, but the goal is to really try and, and marry the expertise of the private sector, um, and bring it in to try and solve some really pressing public health problems. So in, in the developing world, really trying to, to, to come up with new diagnostic tools for diseases like tuberculosis, malaria, sleeping sickness, um, and uh, but really use some of the most cutting edge technology that's out there to try and solve these problems that are you know decades if not centuries old. I really wanted to do something in the international sphere and I'd really started thinking about public health as well but I didn't want to do it just a straight public health degree and SIPA really offered a really great combination of the two and it's New York City. It's a great place to come for, you, for, uh, for grad school. I'm from Switzerland originally. My family's from, from India, but I was born and brought up in Switzerland. And it was a really, you know, it was a really fantastic time as well to come to the US and come to New York and really experience learning about international affairs in a city where international affairs is worked on every day. The dual degree, the combination of the, the two, um, really gave me the foundation for for all of the jobs I've done since SIPA. Um, it's it's a really it's a really interesting um, place to you know it's it's a uh, how to say it's a privilege to be in a place and spend some time and really think about some of these broader issues, particularly from for from my perspective from a policy standpoint, and really try and tease out some of the underlying issues, some of the consequences of different types of policy decisions you take. And in, in a work setting, you, you often don't have that luxury. And so the fact of having spent some time really focusing on that kind of stuff, I, I think was incredibly helpful to, you know, it's trained your mind to actually try and think that way, even in these, these very quick decision-making situations. The kind of candidate that would really fit into SIPA, I think, is someone who has a really open mind, who's interested in learning about new places, new concepts, um, and really open to meeting people from all over the world. Um, often um, people who you may disagree with as well, and so being, you know, being aware that you are coming into a place that has an incredible rich, uh, incredible diversity of students, um, but also incredible diversity of opinions and ideas and concepts floating around. And, and, you know, you can either get quashed by that or you can use it to enrich how you think about the world as well in a more nuanced manner. I would say don't leave SIPA without making sure that you've got the phone number and email address of, of as many of your fellow students as possible because chances are they're going to be doing some really interesting things all over the world and you want to try and keep in touch with as many of them as possible.